Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game features two quarterbacks who always seem to find themselves in games that come down to the wire. It's Ben Roethlisberger going up against Joe Flacco. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week's four matchup. It's the start of another week of NFL action, and that means it's Thursday night in the NFL here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims getting set for kickoff and a big primetime game headed your way. The lights are on. The excitement's building, Phil. It does, Jim. And when you play under the lights, the players, of course, are more emotional because they sit around all day just waiting for this game. Make sure your emotions don't get the best of you and you go out there and play out of control and make a mistake that could cost your football team the game. And Sean Sweezum looks ready to get this one underway. The Ravens are back deep, waiting to return the kick. And here we go, two rivals ready to square off. No return here. This will be coming out to the 20. Flacco's coming out now at quarterback. He hovered right around 50% completion mark last week. Joe Flacco can throw that ball. What else do you need to know? If you're open, he can get it to you no matter where you are on the field. The Ravens come out in a two tight end set. First down at the 20. Toss to the outside. The Steelers guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. Loss of three on the play. Ravens come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October will be seeing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Second and 13. Flacco to his tight end. Pinnock. Shazier's there to take him down. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to Stop the tight end. Rush the quarterback. Ben Roethlisberger and Joe Flacco, they meet a couple of times a year in the AFC North, and, man, they are pretty experienced about these games coming right down to the wire when it's the Steelers and the Ravens. Yeah, you, we, we, you and I have done so many of those games, and we've seen both of these quarterbacks win the game on the last drive. So they both just, they're tremendous quarterbacks. They're the face of their franchises. And it's always fun to get the Ravens and the Steelers in the game. What do you see when you look at these two quarterbacks, Roethlisberger and Flacco? Isn't it amazing what a Super Bowl victory does for you? Now look at Joe Flacco, and I see him going against Ben Roethlisberger, and I just say, wow, Joe Flacco's the man right now. And uh, I think that's how he's going to be viewed. Uh, the public, what they thought about him before, it doesn't matter what they used to think. Now they look at him, and they know he's one of the best in the NFL, and he is one terrific quarterback. Well, I think we're seeing something we see with so many teams now in the NFL. Running backs who can do it all. This guy can run, block, and he can catch short passes and make long gains after it. Nice job. This play set up by the long gainer. Blackos back in shotgun formation. Over to Pitta. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Set up now at the 37.
second down and 11. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. In a situation like this, third ball, if you're the defense, catch him by surprise and blitz. Ravens are at the line, facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. Third and 12. Trying to find his target over the middle, but that pass goes incomplete. The Ravens really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. This punt will not be returned. It will never see the field of play as it sails out of bounds. Roethlisberger is going to be the one leading this offense today. Last week, he accounted for over 200 yards passing. Tim, I get a big kick out of watching Ben Roethlisberger play every single time we do a game of theirs because, look, we know he's big. I think that... Second down and 10. Fullback takes the handoff. And it's Webb there to beat him. The Steelers come to the line with a bunch set. First down and 10. And incomplete. Didn't get his feet down. Here's a look at the Steelers' offense. A model of efficiency a week ago without a single giveaway. Second down after the incompletion. The Ravens' defense now is going to go nickel. Play clock's running down. It's on target to Martavis Bryant. And now here's the Ravens' defense. Last week, this group came up with three forced turnovers. They still face third and six, even after that last successful pass play. The Steelers come to the line. First down marker is at the 48. Trying to beat the play clock. Takes it out of the eye. The coach is going to go for it. Bell in the backfield. Single back set. Hand off made. The Steelers turn the ball over on downs. One quarter complete. And we'll take a break as you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Snickers, you're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. We're back for the start of the second quarter. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims here at Heinz Field. 
the Ravens didn't get much out of that last drive. So now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic. Wasn't very well thought out. And they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job. But man, that was pretty easy. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. First down here. The Steelers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel from the gun. He reaches up and grabs it. That's his first reception today. How about how high he went up in the air to get that one? Unbelievable job that time. And again, that's part of every offense now in the NFL. It wasn't like that when I played. We didn't have guys that could go up and make catches like that. First and ten. And off out of the eye. They have this one covered up. And it's going to set them back for a loss. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Coming to the line at the 27. The Ravens from the 27. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. The Ravens now inside the 20. A week ago, they converted time and time again inside the red zone. First and goal, and off by Flacco. Brought down by Timmons. the football to the 10 yard line second and goal from the 10 yard line Wilson's the one who brings him to the ground Jim I just want to say this to the quarterback it's third goal if the play's not there throw it away do not force the action A short field goal try on the way. Going to be a penalty here. Hit on the kicker, and that will be a 15-yarder. Jim, it's inexcusable. How can you rough the kicker in a situation like this? Football teams practice this every single day. That's what they work on from the start of training camp. Such a big mistake. Runs it across for the touchdown. Midway through the second quarter, they put themselves in front 
with that touchdown, Phil. Hey, that touchdown could be a difference maker in this game. You never know. So really well called by the offensive coordinator and executed perfectly by the offensive players. The point after try is in the books. The Ravens setting up here for the kickoff. And a touchback. Mosley's making his way back onto the field, and there's no question who's been the man in charge out there for this defense as they built up this lead. There's nothing like being the man, isn't it? I mean, you can uh, relate to that, I think, because you are the man, Jim. And so, is, hey, on a defensive side, he's a, he is absolutely the man. The Ravens with two extra defensive backs in the dime. First down at the 20. Arrington's in on the tackle. Antonio Brown just keeps getting better and better. The coaches say he's one of the hardest workers on the football team. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. And now as we come back to the field, we're looking at a defense trying to maintain a lead going into the break. Bells lined up directly behind the quarterback here. The Steelers taken from the 23. Bells met at the 23. Defense now signaling for a timeout. The defense needed to slow this game down, so that may be a very useful timeout. Now they're ready to go. Third down on the way. Roethlisberger from the gun. It's Miller on the receiving end. That's his first reception today. Nice job that time by the tight end. Makes the catch, and you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember, they're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. Quarterback gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. The Ravens come out in a dime package. First and ten. Smith nearly had the interception. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Roethlisberger's lining up in the pistol. The Steelers will take the snap from the 40. Bryant's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. You can do all you want on the defensive side. You can give a lot of looks, but it's just too easy for the quarterbacks and receivers to throw a catch. Coming to the line at the 37. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Roethlisberger standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. The Steelers now move the chains. The Steelers signal for a timeout. They have two. The Steelers break huddle and show a jumbo look. First down at the 16. Lewis all over the ball carrier. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. 
breaking huddle and coming to the line at the 17-yard line. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. The reception by Antonio Brown. Steelers had a nice play designed that time and pulled the defense and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Johnson's going to take the handoff now. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, when you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. First and goal. Bell's going to secure the handoff. Daryl Smith brings him down. Bell's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. That'll do it for the first half here in the Steel City. Back to Pittsburgh after a break for halftime and the start of the third quarter. Thanks, Jim. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Steelers right now have a time of possession advantage, but it has not led them to taking control of this game. The Ravens look like they'll be in this game for four quarters. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Now they've got it at the 44-yard line. Flacco's on point with the throw. Ends up picking up 16 yards before heading out of bounds. Ravens on first and five. Forsett's got it off the left side here, and he'll run it in from five yards out. Ravens up by a touchdown. Now to late in the first half. Bryant with the catch over the middle, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the 37-yard line. Still a little time left on the clock. Bill's going to haul in the pass over the middle, and the pass and catch will end up going for 21 yards. So that'll do it for us here at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back under the lights now where Jim and Phil have the call. We are back for the start of the third. Jim Nance, Phil Sims here at Heinz Field. And the second half is underway between these old rivals. Brown's going to drop to a knee here, so this will come out to the 20. The Ravens' defense trying to crack down yet again on the opposition, leading through two quarters and leading the way for this team. I like the way they played in the first half on the defensive side, so make sure you don't lose that thought process and that confidence that you gained in what you did in the first half and go out there and attack this offense. Antonio Brown with the catch. When it comes to him, is it speed or quickness? Oh, man, it is both. Dan, a pair of good hands, and the fact that he's one of the hardest workers in the NFL. And now you understand why this Pittsburgh Steelers let Mike Wallace go. They knew they had a star wide receiver in Antonio Brown. did a good job that time picking up the first down let's look at the situation you're behind the second half you keep looking to pick up those first downs and you know you get enough of what does it do 37 it leads to a score Roethlisberger's completion percentage 80 percent on the day that was a big gainer now it's time to back it up and Brown brings it in Gains 17 is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you've never seen drop a pass. Roethlisberger's completed his last six passes. Now first and ten. 
Roethlisberger going down the field. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. They had to come out and erase any deficit as quickly as they could, Phil. And that touchdown here in the third has certainly done that. They did it. They erased that deficit. They tied this game up. And what they have done, they put all the pressure on the other team's offense now. The Steelers now with the extra point to tie the game. Extra point was good. Bryant's taking a breather as the kicking team comes out. He just contributed over 60 yards receiving on that scoring drive. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. The Steelers' defense. Let's see where they are mentally here, Phil, after allowing a touchdown. Well, they got to have some motivation after that last drive. It was so poor. It's about discipline. We didn't see it from their defense. So this time, go out there and just do your job. The Ravens have it at the 29. They'll run it here. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Ravens running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. That second down coming up. Blacko's got it in the gun. Rashad Perriman with the catch. Gains 13. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. They complete the pass, but still not enough for the first. Third down coming up. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Taken down at the 39. The Ravens are going to punt this one back. And this will end up in the end zone for a touchback. And here's Roethlisberger making his way out to the huddle. He's been absolutely sensational today, Phil, showing us just how proficient he can be when he's in top form. Some guys are so good that they can just do anything they want on the field because they have so much talent. And that's what we're witnessing here today is just a guy loaded with talent. First down at the 20. Bell will get it on the toss. Has the first down and a whole lot more. The defense, when they watch this tape tomorrow, they are going to get their rear ends chewed out. Look at the broken tackles that time by the running back. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. Looking at every option. 
We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today has been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. Antonio Brown with the catch. That's five receptions on the day. Well, as we saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. They come to the line at the 28. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Courtney Upshaw brings the quarterback down. You know, outside linebackers, they're everything all in one. They got to be a pass rusher, uh, a pass cover guy, and they got to be able to stop the run. Nice job that time getting the sack. Set up now at the 36. Bell in the backfield, single back set. The Steelers snap it at the 36. Antonio Brown has the catch. And that's a gain of 10. All right, guys, the wide receivers in the NFL now, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two and three, and some have four. Good job that time by him hauling in that pass. Roethlisberger's completion percentage, 80% on the day. Roethlisberger's all by himself in the backfield for this snap. The Steelers snap it at the 26. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. The Steelers put themselves in a terrible situation. Third long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. Both defenses holding serve as we head to the fourth. Which offense will string a drive together to break this tie? We'll find out in a moment. The fourth quarter is about to get underway, and we've got a tie game. This one's been fun to call, partner. Yeah, it sure has. It, it has been fun, Jim. I love low-scoring uh, games where there's a lot of pressure on the calls, pressure on the players. We've seen that, and it's going to be a fun finish. Teams in the NFL spend about 30%, 40% of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Bell's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Delayed handoff. And they are in on Bell. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Bell's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The Ravens lined up in the nickel. Heath Miller has the catch. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Should be an easy one here. And he converts here on the field goal try. 
Still nearly an entire quarter to play, but that field goal could have been the key score they needed. Oh, I think it's a it's a very key score there right there, Jim. And what you have done, you've put pressure on the opponent's offense. Let's see if your defense can go out there and take advantage of it. The Ravens return team is ready. Webb's not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. The Ravens hope to get things going here. They have been anything but productive here in quite some time. Three consecutive drives that have led to nowhere. Well, let's give a lot of credit to the defensive side, especially the defensive line. They are absolutely taking it to the offense. They are beating them up, and the defensive line is winning the battles like this. It's all about the defense. First down at the 20. Perriman's got it on a pass that had some heat. The Ravens, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got, you're, you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. First down and 10. The catch is made by Justin Forsett. Game 17. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Flacco's completion percentage, 80% on the day. First down here after the completion. From the gun, Flacco. Ball is out. A recovery by the defense. No one's going to get him now. The 10 going to take it home for the touchdown. What a deflating play for the offense. The defense picks up the fumble, takes it not only for a touchdown, but how long. Look at the blocks. That makes the offense lose its confidence. They're going to have a hard time coming back out on the field and making it happen. The Steelers with the PAT to come. He made it. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff. Paramans taking a knee here, so the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Ravens just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going, to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. Got hit on release. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it, but what a job in effort. The Steelers go with the dime formation here on defense. Second and ten. And here's the toss. Looking at third down. 
The Ravens get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Set up screen. That's a gain of seven. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. Blacko's going to take it from the gun. Going deep. The Ravens that time go for it on fourth down, and they fail. I did not understand the decision, but you got to make sure your team doesn't get down from that. you got to keep them up. The Ravens have to feel pretty good about themselves. That last time on the field, they are out there a long time, but only gave up three in the end. Yeah, that's the good point. Uh, the bad point is they just gave up a lot of easy plays to the, other, the, to the opponent's offense. You know, you just can't give away easy passes and let them run right up the middle and get yards. So they got to toughen up. And that will probably go as a drop. Got to give the defense a lot of... A lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Here they come to the line of scrimmage, the 21-yard line. Second down and 10. Bryant's going to pull in the bullet pass. That's his fifth catch of the day. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the game. now in this one and time is running out here in the fourth quarter they come to the line and it's first down Browns in his hands complete touchdown What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Steelers getting set now for the point after. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Ravens are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The score is 24 to 7. And no return as this goes for a touchback. The Ravens really let it all hang out the last time they had the ball filled. They went for a fourth down of their own territory. Let's see if they're a little more conservative with this possession. Well, you know, it's amazing. I want to say really a good defensive call by the defensive coordinator. But let's be honest, when you're backed up and you go for it on fourth down situa situation like that, anybody could have made that call. So just a bad, bad decision on the offensive side. If there was a beat writer covering this coach... What do you think the headline will be tomorrow in his story? It'd probably be the first time I've ever agreed with the beat writer. The Steelers' defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Flacco will take it from the gun. Stands in the pocket. Browns met at the 23. It's third down coming up. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. Flacco from the shotgun. What a one-handed catch. Right. 
No time to waste. They hurry to the line. Scanning the field. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. The Ravens will take the snap from the 40. Catch made near the sideline. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Trailing. They'll go hurry up rather than call the timeout. Snap it out of the gun. Looking middle that time, and it's incomplete. It'll be third down. The Ravens get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Bud Dupree with the sack. The Ravens are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Going for it on fourth down. The Ravens will take the snap from the 45. The Steelers took care of business here today, Phil, and now you've got to think they just want to run the clock, avoid any injuries, and get to that locker room as quickly as possible to celebrate. Yeah, no question about it. They won the battle here today. They wore out this defense. The offense was absolutely tremendous, and you're right. Don't make a mistake now like a penalty, whatever. Let the clock run out so you can celebrate. Roethlisberger comes out in the pistol. First down at the 45. Looking across the middle. Roethlisberger gets it to his tight end. Heath Miller. The Steelers signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. The Ravens will come out in the dime. First and ten. Throw it over the middle. Brought down by Mosley. The Steelers elect to take a timeout here before the second down snap. Just 23 yards to the end zone. Second down and four. Smith nearly had the interception. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. Ben Roethlisberger will take the snap out of the gun. The Steelers take it from the 23. Browns in for the touchdown. That's his fifth receiving touchdown this year. That touchdown might just wrap it up. Yeah, it sure will, Jim. It's been an exciting game all day, and it, uh, to score late in the game like this to put it away, it's time to celebrate a little on the sideline. The Steelers getting set now for the point after. The point after is good. The Ravens really couldn't afford to give up any points there. They're trailing late in the fourth. The scores 31 to 7. The Ravens return team is ready. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. Lawrence Timmons. 
coming onto the field now. And he and all the other players on that unit can give themselves a big pat on the back for what's been a fantastic, dominant effort today, Phil. Absolutely. Pat yourself on the back. They should. They hustled from start to finish. And to me, that was the difference in the game. First down at the 20. Perriman's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. The Ravens decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. The Steelers sat at the line. Dime package. First down at the 34. Flacco flings it way down the field. The Ravens will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. This will be the final snap. The Ravens will take the snap from the 30. Heaving it down the field. Ravens in for the score. That's his first touchdown catch of the season. Nice catch by the rookie wide receiver. And how about that? His first receiving touchdown in the NFL. He is so talented. There is no doubt he's going to have a lot more. I think we're going to see more two-point conversions in the league this year than ever before because kicking an extra point from the 15-yard line, it's not a gimme anymore. You've often talked about prime time and how the players of today have this it's all about me kind of a mentality. And for you in the booth, you had to enjoy it being all about you having a chance to call this one today in prime time. That's right. It's all about me, and it would have been if I could have just got you to be quiet for a few minutes, but it's awesome to win in a game that's featured in everybody in the country. All your peers, they watch you. It just doesn't get better. Bill Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.